All right, so which one of these meals looks better to you? I would say most people think this one. This, to be honest, looks just very bland, boring. And you can just tell this has absolutely no taste. But most people think they should eat like this to lose fat, but it's actually not true. And that's why I'm making today's video because I'm gonna give you five tips on how to make fat loss easy. All right, so these two meals have exactly the same ingredients or almost exactly, just the vegetables are different, but they're basically the same. We got some rice in there, we got some chicken and we got some veggies. Both are exactly the same, same amount. This is just made differently. Like this is just rice, stir fried with some veggies and chicken. And then on top of that, a little bit of low calorie sauce. And I just know that this meal is gonna make my diet so much easier because this has taste and I can actually look forward to eating this meal. Meanwhile, this, like this just doesn't look inviting at all. And that's one of the biggest tips I can give you to make fat loss easier because if you play around with spices and try to learn how to make your foods more enjoyable, then it's so much easier to stick to your diet. Because as I told you, these two meals have exactly the same amount of calories. And this is just one example, but there are so many more examples that you can do this with. So it's just all about trial and error. Um, try to play around with your meals, try to use spices, go for some low calorie sauces. For example, get an air fryer. I have an air fryer and I make 99% of my food in the air fryer because it just tastes amazing. So just play around, see what works for you, make your meals more enjoyable, and that way you're gonna stick to your diet easier and you'll see that fat loss is actually not that hard. All right, so the second tip is move more. Get up, go for a walk, be more active. If your gym is close by, why don't you just leave the car at home and you walk to the gym or you go buy a bike. Find, find more ways to be more active. Try to aim for at least 10,000 steps per day. That's what I do and that makes my fat loss journey always easier because one, you burn more calories. Two, it's very good for digestion. You know, go for little walks in between your meals because that's gonna help you with digestion. For example, I go for a walk in the evening right before I go to bed. It makes me sleep better. Again, my digestion is better. I don't go to bed with this full feeling. And also when you go for a walk, it helps you clear your mind, just calm down. And I don't know, it just has so many benefits. It's literally the easiest way to burn calories. Just stand up, go for a walk and you're burning calories. And that way, when you're burning more calories, you can also eat more. So you're making it easier for yourself, you know, because if you don't burn these calories, you also have to cut down on the food. So once you increase the calorie expenditure, you can also eat more food. And that's gonna make your diet definitely more enjoyable because you don't have to, to skip on this snack. You don't have to skip on this, on this meal or this coffee, you know. You can have all of these things because you're actually burning more calories by being more active. So yeah, as I said, walking is definitely the easiest part. You don't have to do hit cardio. You don't have to, to do, to kill yourself with cardio because that's not necessary. Just be more active and then you'll see that your fat loss journey is much easier. All right, so the third one is you have to get more liquids in. And I'm gonna show you why. Because let's just say that this glass is your stomach, yeah? And you have to fill it up because you're hungry, it feels empty, you have to fill it up. Now let's say, for example, you don't drink enough. Let's just say you have this much liquid in your stomach. You have to fill the rest up with food because otherwise you're still gonna feel empty, you're still gonna feel hungry, you're gonna have this hungry feeling. But let's just say, for example, that you increase the amount of liquids then this much remains for food. And what I'm trying to say is, when you drink more, when you get more liquids in, when you start eating something, you have this, this full feeling quicker. And that also makes it easier to eat less calories because this is gonna be calories from food and this is gonna be calories from food. And when you drink more water, tea, coffee, um, for example, 
it's sugar-free soda here and there in moderation. Like I know a lot of people really exaggerate it and they, they think they can drink two or three liters of Diet Coke per day. Like that's not really healthy. I'm just talking about one or two glasses maybe. And also just go for some um, sugar-free syrup. You know, I, I usually have one of these. I have a glass of water and then I just uh, make some sugar-free syrup. That easy, doesn't have any calories, it tastes nice and it keeps me a little fuller for a long time. So that's a very, very big thing. I know a lot of people don't drink enough in general. Like I'm not saying it just has to be water, but as I said, you can drink tea, you can go grab a coffee, but don't go to Starbucks and get like a Frappuccino with, with uh, whipped cream and caramel sauce and whatever, you know, because that's like a calorie bomb. You don't want that. Just go for a coffee with some, maybe some low fat milk or something, you know, keep it like around 50 calories maybe for a coffee. So it's not only gonna make it easier to eat less food and get less calories in, it also has so many more benefits. For example, when you drink more, your pump in the gym is gonna be, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna, it's gonna feel better, you feel fuller. Because your body is mostly made out of water and I think a lot of people always forget that, but most people just don't drink enough. So try to, try to increase the amount of liquids you get in every day and you will see that you will feel better, you will feel less tired, you will even sleep better. Like hydration is so important, it's so important, not only when you're dieting, but just in general. But yeah, so try it for a while and you'll see that it will make your diet easier, make fat loss easier and you'll feel better overall. All right, so the fourth tip that I have for you guys is build more muscle. Because the more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns with doing nothing, with just existing, you know? Because your body burns a certain amount of calories to stay alive. If you have more muscle, you're obviously gonna burn more calories. So to build more muscle, you obviously have to train hard enough, uh, get enough calories in. Like, don't be afraid to also put on a little bit of body fat because that's normal when you want to build muscle you know it's normal to not be shredded 24 7 like i know you see all these shredded physiques online you know and yeah it looks cool it looks very impressive but for most people it's actually not really enjoyable like it's not an enjoyable life you know um being too strict with yourself you know that's it's just really not enjoyable and it's also not optimal for muscle growth so when you want to build more muscle, try to like get this image out of your head, you know, it's normal to actually gain a little bit of body fat, um, eat enough calories, uh, fuel your body to actually build the muscle too, you know, build the muscle tissue because you need energy to build muscle tissue. And once you build more muscle, you will see that your body burns more calories and because your body burns more calories, you can also eat more. All right, so the last tip that I have for you guys, I wanna say that the first four tips were more like physical things, physical things that you can do to make your uh, fat loss journey easier. The fifth one is more like a mental thingy. Don't compare your fat loss journey to someone else's fat loss journey. Try to focus on yourself. Try to just see your own progress. Try to focus on your own progress. If you're making progress every single week, then you're on the right way. You're doing your job exactly how you need to do it. You don't have to change anything because you will reach your goal eventually. It doesn't matter if someone else is doing it faster than you or in a different way. That all doesn't matter. Just focus on yourself and try to have a little bit of balance in there, you know? Like don't, don't overdo it. Don't stretch yourself out too much, you know? If you have a fat loss journey of 12 weeks, that is really enjoyable and you can you can go out with some friends from time to time you know have a cheat meal here and there you know like have have this balance in there that's so much more better than having a fat loss journey of for example six to eight weeks which is very aggressive you cannot eat anything uh, your life is boring you don't want to go out you feel like shit, you know i would rather go for the 12 weeks because one i feel better it's much more enjoyable the whole journey is more enjoyable and at the end I will still get the same results so yeah that's why I said focus on your own journey do whatever works best for you don't compare yourself to other people because that's one of the biggest things that people do when they're actually like 
starting out to lift weights or starting out their diet, you know. No, don't compare yourself to others. Focus on your own progress. Try to make a little bit of progress every single week and then you will reach your goals. So yeah, I think that's also probably one of the, also one of the biggest things. Like all these physical things that you can change, yeah, of course they're gonna make it easier, but in the end, the mental part is also very, very important, you know, because if something is not enjoyable at all, if you don't enjoy doing something, then you, it's most likely you will quit very, very soon, you know? So yeah, that's the last thing that I wanted to say. Also a very, very big point. And other than that, I think I explained pretty much everything. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if it was, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate all the support. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.